I hate to be the one to tell you, you're going to have to do some work. The School of Podcasting with Dave Jackson. Hey, I'm Dave Jackson from the School of Podcasting.com, where I help podcasters. It's what I do. I have a t shirt to prove it. And I want to talk about growing your audience because there, there was an article that came out this week that showed how people are making like insane amounts of money charging their guests to be on the show. And the big thing I want to point out about that is you have to tell up front, hey, today's show is brought to you by John Smith. Uh, you know, and also it turns out that our guest is John Smith. We've all seen those commercials on TV. The following is a paid promotion. Oh, it's a, you know, so when they go, holy cow, do you like hot food for your family? Right. They always point out the, the problem. We've been there. So keep that in mind that when you start off your podcast with, do you like hot food for your family? Your audience may or may not like that. That's between you, the guest and the listener. Just know you have to disclose that. You have to. It's a, it's a legal thing. So keep that in mind. The other thing I want to point out is I'm starting to see people because they think, holy cow, podcasting, I'm going to start a podcast and it's just going to be me and my buddies and uh, we're you know just going to talk. We're going to keep it real. Don't need to edit. Going to keep it real. And then I just saw where people getting paid $50,000 to be on a podcast. Yeah, that's not normal. And I think people are going to come in with skewed expectations. And so I had someone this week and I said, look, can I bring this up on YouTube this week? And they're like, yeah. They said, basically in a nutshell, where can I go to do the least amount of work and have the greatest amount of podcast growth? And I get that. Who doesn't want to grow their show for free? And I said, it kind of doesn't work that way. You're either paying with your time or you're paying some sort of crew to go out and promote it for you. That's really it. And in full disclosure, I work for Libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N.com. They're a media host, but it doesn't matter if it's Libsyn or Captivate or Buzzsprout or whatever. The bottom line is it's you who has to promote your show. It's not like somebody's going, hey, Phil, you got to listen to this podcast. Why? Their download speeds are amazing. It's not the media host that people are talking about. It's your content. And so you're either going to pay somebody to help promote you. And that means number one, who is your audience? Where are they? Go there and make friends. Cause if you don't make friends, you're just spamming people and then tell them about your show. The fun part of this is a lot of times, especially podcasters, we're not the most extroverted people. I'm fine when I'm around podcasters. Cause I know we can talk about microphones and all that other stuff. This weekend, I went down, I do a show for Akron, Ohio, and I am not big on talking to absolute strangers. In fact, it kind of makes me wet my pants just a little bit. And so I went down and I was like, hey, do you listen to podcasts? I had a shirt on that said akronpodcast.com. And some people said, yeah. And I was like, what kind? And they said, true crime. And I go, did you know there's a show about Akron, Ohio? And they're like, I did not. And I'm like, well, hey, if you have your phone, you can scan this QR code. It'll take you right there and you can follow and subscribe for free. According to the front of this, it's local news stories and insights. And some people said, can I have the card? And I go, yeah. And I did not like that at all for the record. Mm, not my cup of tea. But I found about 10 people had about 10 people that go, yeah, you know, but think about that now. If I can get those 10 people to tell 10 people, then I'm in much better shape. Another thing, some people are like, I, I, I need a team. I need a team. You have a team. It's called your audience. It's called your audience. And the last point I want to make today is you have to make a call to action. Just ask them to share your show. And what I hear is this. Well, if you kind of like want to, like maybe, I don't know, kind of like, you know, the show, if you, you know, maybe like it, I don't know. Uh, you know, share, tell, I don't know. You don't have to, you don't, whatever. Okay. My website is what, what if you slowly, specifically, confidently ask your audience who likes you? Cause if they didn't, they wouldn't be listening. 
to share the show. And if you've delivered value, something that they go, oh, this is cool. I got to go tell Phyllis. And so what it would be like, hey, you know, we're at about the five minute mark of this YouTube video and you're still here. Do you know somebody else that's trying to grow their podcast audience? Could you do me a favor? It would mean the world to me if you can just click that share button right there underneath the video on YouTube, share it out on Twitter or whoever, anybody that you know is trying to grow their audience. Could you share this video with them? It would just mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Slowly, specifically, confidently tell them to share it with a friend. Now, not everybody's going to share it. In fact, most studies say if you have 100 people listening, three of them will. That kind of sucks, but hey, welcome to reality. That's what we're about here on the School of Podcasting, giving you realistic expectations. The bottom line is it's not your media host. It's not who, it's you. You are the person that's going to grow your show, whether by doing it yourself, asking your supporters, or hiring a team. It's not the technology. It's not the microphone, unless you sound really, really bad right now. You got to ask your audience or hire a team. That's how you grow your audience. And that starts with knowing who your audience is and giving them content that is so good, they almost want to share it before you even ask. If you need help with this, come over and visit me. You can find me at schoolofpodcasting.com. I'm Dave Jackson. I help podcasters. It's what I do.